Hi Libra, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of April 4th to April 10th, 2022. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Libra, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. All right, let's take a look at your energy for the week. All right, spirit, angels, and guys, show me the energy of Libra in regards to love for this week. First card is Ace of Cups in reverse. The Empress card in reverse, that's a card of Libra. Six of Wands, King of Cups. Knight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups. So you're definitely not feeling very happy here. Um, I can definitely feel uh, an energy of disappointment in you. Or also feeling an energy of, I'm feeling an energy of you feeling unfulfilled or unsatisfied, discontent, disappointed. Tell me about this uh, Four of Cups spirit. Clarify Four of Cups. We have the Emperor and we have the Three of Swords. I think you're definitely trying to act like something doesn't bother you anymore or something doesn't hurt you anymore or affect you anymore. I don't feel like you're trying to act in, in, in the sense that you're trying to deceive anyone. I think you're trying to convince yourself, you know, convince yourself that that you don't care about something or someone anymore or that you're no longer affected by them. Because the emperor is here, the emperor can be kind of a little bit of a a hard shell that you're that you have um surrounding your heart or that you're trying to create a hard shell. Yeah, I think you wanted a relationship though. You were hoping for a, a happy relationship. Something didn't work out and I feel like you're trying to not let yourself break down. You're, you're, you're trying not to let yourself like disintegrate you know, shatter into a million pieces. You're trying to keep yourself together and keep yourself grounded as best as you can, almost like a, it's almost like you're in survival mode a little bit. You're trying to survive and keep your head above the water. Yeah, because there's a lot that's, 
that's making you feel down with the Empress in reverse, that's making you feel um, like you're lacking or like you're losing control. Tell me about the Empress spirit in reverse. We have the chariot in reverse and we have the seven of swords, seven of swords. Okay, so I do feel like some of you are looking over your shoulder the way this person is looking over their shoulder to, to something that you might probably know is not good for you. It probably is what caused this heartbreak, this three of swords, which represents heartbreak. Um, so I do feel like whatever caused you heartbreak, I feel like you're looking over your shoulder back to that person. Almost like, you know, in, in the corner of your eye. Or um, through your periphery vision, so to speak. Almost like if you're hoping that this person will chase you or you're hoping that they'll wake up. Yeah, I think you're hoping they'll they'll take action towards you, that they'll wake up, that they'll um recognize um whatever they did. I'm not sure what the situation here is, but Yeah, because I feel like you feel ignored by this person or you feel um, abandoned by this person with the Five of Pentacles. So I think you're just hoping this person will maybe um, grow, con grow a conscience, you know, or develop a conscience. And maybe feel bad for you a little bit. What's the Five of Pentacles spirit? Star and a Fool. Tell me about the High Priestess. Page of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Cups upright. Some of you want a new beginning with this person is what I'm sensing with the Star and the Fool. Um, I don't feel like you're gonna you're going to make it like easy though with the emperor card. Some of you might not make it easy on this person because um, you've already experienced heartbreak or this the disappointment or deception with them. So you're very, very guarded, but at the same time, you're still attached with the seven of swords. You're still kind of looking over your shoulder. I'm waiting to see what they'll do. If they'll do anything. Okay. Let's take a look now at your person, Libra, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Let's see what's going on with them.
Okay, spirit angels and guys, show me the energy of the person Libra is connecting to in love for this week. Thank you, spirit. Six of cups in reverse is the first card. Four of swords. The nine of pentacles in reverse. The sun card could be a Leo for some of you. The magician card could be a Virgo. And we have the seven of cups in reverse. Could be a Gemini, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. At the bottom, we have Page of Swords. Feel like this person is also looking over their shoulder with the with the page of swords in reverse. King of Pentacles. They do also feel kind of a sense of unfinished business that I think I also felt with with your energy, Libra. That 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 seems to be lingering, uh, an energy of unfinished business. They're definitely taking their time. I can see that they want to move towards you, Libra, but I see that they're being very slow and they're taking their time. They're doing a lot of like meditating or contemplating, analyzing. Yeah, even here with the Four of Swords, like they're taking their time to really think about things. The Six of Cups is in reverse, so emotionally they feel compelled or they feel tempted to reconnect with you. Reconnect with you in a relationship with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. But I feel like they haven't made up their mind. Tell me about the sun spirit. Tell me about the sun. King of Swords in reverse, Two of Wands in reverse. Tell me about the Magician, please. Ace of Cups in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles upright. Yeah, very slow, like I said. Knight of Pentacles is a slow energy. Mm. Yeah, it's like they're not sure. They don't, they don't have it figured out. Uh, but I see that I still see them moving towards you, Libra. But it's like they're moving very slowly on purpose because they don't they're not really sure. They haven't fully decided what they want to do. So it's almost like they're they're buying time. They're being slow because they're trying to buy time to to properly decide if this is something they want to reinvest in this connection with you what's that four of swords about spirit okay we have the nine of swords okay so they are a little bit stressed out here they do feel stressed you know um and conflicted, emotionally and mentally conflicted. What else, Spirit? The Page of Cups. Okay, so I mean, the desire is there to reach out to you and to make you an offer to reconnect with you. The desire is there, but I do feel like this person is overthinking things and I do feel like they're They might be a little bit like self-sabotaging here because they're leaning too heavily on what their mind says instead of what their heart says, if that makes sense. Okay. All right, Libra, I'm going to continue now in the extended reading. I'm going to take a deeper look at what exactly are this person's
person's real feelings for you, what are their real intentions, and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week. If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.